As restrictions and guidelines continue to be lifted, some of our favorite local staples are finally starting to reopen here in Colorado, as you found out. Yes, including at your favorite nationally famous local brewery tour. <laughs> After almost exactly two years, the brewery tour at Coors has once again opened its doors. It was March 13th, uh, 2020, when we shut down for the pandemic and we thought we'd be going sooner, but here we are. It's a great day. I don't know, it kind of feels like when the Wonka factory opened up, only instead of golden tickets, we're in beautiful golden Colorado. And naturally, the staff is very excited. This is like our home. This is the home of Coors Banquet. It's the home of Coors Light. So to bring people back in here to see people's faces as they come back to the tours and they get to sample the beers, uh, there's nothing better than that. Gosh, 19. You can read about the details here or apricot wheat. Oh, both. Yeah, I don't know if you caught the tail end of what he said, but there have been some changes made to the tour, including now there will be more samples. That was one of the suggestions. We've been uh, making changes throughout this two-year period. Listen to a lot of the feedback that we received from guests in the past. Other alterations include now there are live tour guides, a new reservation system, and they refurbished the lounge at the end. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was super fun, and you can tell all the employees are really excited to be back here too, which is really awesome to see. Unfortunately though, not everyone is allowed to enjoy the lounge to its fullest. I'm not allowed to drink on the air, but I can smell it. Wow, that's good. It smells like Colorado. At least I have the gift shop, where you can deck out on swag to rep your favorite Coors brands, which, for the staff, means a lot. Everyone's got a favorite beer or a favorite TV ad or some moment in their life that connects them back to, to Coors Banquet or Coors Light or Blue Moon or, or one, of our, one of our beers. And to see people's eyes light up as they come in and, and share those experiences and get to see those brands in a different way uh, through the tour, it's a really exciting thing. Danny New, Denver 7. I love that you said you wanted both. That was the best part. Thank you. I just wanted to smell both, of course. Can't smell them both, of course. Yeah. Well, good to have the brewery tour yeah. back. Next year, they are celebrating their 150th birthday, so that should be exciting. Yeah, it'd be really cool. And if you guys want to go on the tour, you just got to be vaccinated, and then you can make a reservation on their website, which we will have for you on a link on ours, Denver Channel, or at thedenverchannelljacqueline.com.